Hello, I'm Adobe Stock Contributor Evangelist, Matt Hayward. When you submit content featuring recognizable people or property, you must also submit a signed model or property release. If you submit a file without the required release, or if the release you submit is not considered valid by our team, you may find it in the Remind to Complete section of the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal. From here, you can attach a valid release and resubmit for review. In this video, I'll show you how to do that. It is important to note that this can only be done once per file. If you send the same file again without the necessary changes, the file will be rejected outright with the reason non-compliant. There are a number of reasons your release could be considered invalid. If you're truly stumped and you can't figure it out, you can reach out to our team through the Contact Us link found at the bottom of the Contributor Portal. We'll work with you to figure out what the specific issue is. Some common reasons for release rejection include the lack of a witness, or if there is a witness printed name and signature, the date may not match the date the model signed. This is an indication that the witness didn't actually see the model signing, which is the primary role of the witness, so the dates do need to match. If the model is under 18, a parent or a guardian must print and sign their name. Often releases show a parent's signature, but the printed name is missing, and that would result in a rejection. If the photographer name on your release doesn't match the name on your Adobe Stock Contributor account, that can also invalidate the release. Are you using the Adobe Stock release? If not, that's okay, but the legal disclaimers on your release need to offer the same disclaimers as the Adobe Stock release. Those are just some of the possible explanations for your rejected release and why your submission is in the Remind to Complete section. Once you get the issue with the release sorted out, it's time to resubmit. Now I'm going to show you how to do that right now. As is always the case, when I first visit the Adobe Stock Contributor Portal, I've landed in the Dashboard section. To get from the Dashboard section to the Remind to Complete section, I need to select the Uploaded Files tab near the top of the page. Once here, I see all the content that I have uploaded but not yet submitted. These are not the images that we're after. To get to the Remind to Complete section from here, I need to click this Reminder button. Now notice adjacent to the word Reminder is the number two. That's an indication that I actually have two files in Remind to Complete mode that need to be updated and resubmitted so the moderation team can put them online in my portfolio. I'll click the Reminder tab, and here are the two images. The photo on the left features a woman who's clearly recognizable. Of course, this image requires a signed, valid model release. I've already uploaded a release for this model. It turns out I forgot to attach it when I originally submitted the image. That's a quick, easy fix. First, click the blue Correct and Resubmit button here on the right. Once here, you want to make sure that No is not selected and Yes is selected for recognizable people or property because she is a recognizable person. And so as mentioned, I'd already uploaded that release, so I'm just going to go ahead and type her name in and attach that release. And so now, since I had already done all my keywording and titles and the category was confirmed and all that good stuff, I'm going to go ahead and save this and submit again. And now that pushes that file back into the moderation queue. It's going to be reviewed and if approved, put online in my portfolio. It's not as obvious why this other image landed in the reminder section. Here we've got an original painting of, yes, you guessed it, a rubber chicken. You may be asking yourself one of two questions right now. One, why would anyone paint a rubber chicken? Well, that's irrelevant to this video, so I'm going to pretend that you're not asking that. The other question you may have is, what caused this image to be prompted for a release when there are no recognizable people in it? Well, in addition to the possible reasons I mentioned at the beginning of this video as to why your content could be prompted for an, for an updated or a new release, another common scenario is with images of art. We need to be sure that you have the rights to sell a commercial license for an image of the artwork as opposed to having walked into a museum or a gallery and snapping a photo of the painting hanging on the wall. The way this can be confirmed is through a signed property release. You might be shocked to learn this stunning piece of art was not hanging on the wall to Louvre. I can't believe I'm publicly admitting this, but yes, this is an original painting created by me. Since the moderation team can't possibly know that I painted this, I need to create and submit a property release in which I'm listed as both the property owner and the contributing photographer. This is very easy to do. As before with the model release, I simply click the correct and resubmit button. I want to make sure to say yes, there is recognizable property in this image. Clicking yes brings up the standard release prompts 
In this particular situation, I would click the Create a New Release button. I would then use Adobe Sign to send myself a release to Sign. I've got another video online showing you step-by-step -step how to do this, so check that out if you're not sure. My name is Matt Hayward. I appreciate you watching this video. Check out my other videos online for more information about being a contributor at Adobe Stock.